In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to make a Facebook-like uh, registration form uh, using jQuery and uh, CSS. Um, <clears throat> this is basically just like a Facebook's uh, sign-up form. We have error checking. As you can see, it changes. Select your sex. Changes. We didn't enter a birth date. Still doesn't work until we enter the year. Okay, and the form was submitted, and these are all the values from the form. Uh, this is what we're going to send to our uh, PHP page. I'm going to show you the uh, index file right Okay, here's the index file. Um, first thing we're going to do is make a uh, div. Um, this will be the container. Um, and then the next thing we're going to do is the done div. And this is the done div right here, which displays that. Um, all the uh, values from our form, all the input values. Um, the next thing we're going to have is the text for the form, above the form. Um, and then the form itself, inside a div. Um, here's the text uh, besides each input field. And then under that, we have inside a div is the input fields themselves, uh, the first name. And then we copy all these for the last name, email, um, confirm email, new password. Okay, and then <clears throat> kind of the same thing for the uh, um, your sex. Um, we put the uh, select inside of the div. Okay, and then the next thing we have is uh, birth date, month, day, and year. And if you don't want to copy all this and type it out, um, I'll have the link in the description um, for the source files and for the demo. Okay, and then at the bottom we have the button. And then the last thing is the error. The error div, which is right here. Okay. Um, now I'm going to show you the uh, jQuery file, which makes all this happen. Okay. Here's the jQuery file. So the first thing we're going to do is when the document's ready, um, we're going to put a, sub a click function in here. So when the form's been submitted, the form button. Uh, with the ID of sub, um, we're going <coughs> to call a function called register. And here's the function called register. Um, and then we're going to get all the values from our form, okay, which is going to be first name with the ID of first name. We're going to get the value. And we're going to put this into a variable right here, okay. Um, so if you're going to add any fields, all you need to do is add that and a new input um, with the same ID as you put here. So let's just say you want to, you want to just add um, input name, make the ID name, and you come in here and you make this name, okay? And you make this name. So the next thing we do, um, if any of the inputs equal nothing, um, we're gonna throw an error and you can change the text in here to whatever you want. Um, else, so if all of these, all the input fields are full, they're not empty, um, if sex equals zero, right here, so if they haven't selected it, then we're gonna throw an error. Um, and then else if uh, birthday month equals zero, or day or year, we'll throw an error. And then if all the above is good, then what we're gonna do is we're gonna hide any errors if they're showing. Uh, we're gonna hide that div. Um, and then what we're gonna do is put all the variables into a <clears throat> string, okay? And that's what we're going to send to our PHP file. Um, we're going to send it to the register.php file. Okay. 
And if we get a successful message back, what we're going to do is um, if done equals one, okay, that's what we're going to send back from our PHP file. Um, then we're going to show a form submitted with our string, which is all of our um, values from our form. Um, then we're going to clear all of our inputs and our select. That way they'll be set back to zero. So all the inputs will be um, cleared. Okay, I'm going to show you the PHP file now. Okay, here's our PHP file. Um, first thing we're going to do is we're going to get all of our posted uh, values, okay, and that string. Um, and then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to clean all the posted values using uh, MySQL uh, real escape string. Okay, uh, and then the next thing, <clears throat> if you can put right here to insert your uh, data into your uh, database all the values we get but I'm not going to do that I'm just showing you the basics of this um, and then if that's successful um, you can just put an if statement if if that is successful then we'll echo out one which will return that to our uh, jQuery file right here so if it equals one then we'll we'll do all this we'll show form is submitted or we could redirect to another page like a home page or something okay here's the style um, like I said before I have the link in the description so you can just uh, get the source file so you don't have to type all this out I'll just show it all to you Okay, that's that's about it well I just showed you how to make a uh, Facebook like uh, registration form so if you uh, like this video please rate it and comment on it and uh, thank you